Floss Tube. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new this week or recently new, thank you so much for joining me. This is a channel about cross stitch. My name is Amy and I am coming to you from Arizona and uh, the Valley of the Sun, particularly the Valley of the Hot Sun. <laughs> we are still reaching 100 degree temperatures or close to it um, in the middle of the day and so um yes it's hot we don't officially cool off until um after halloween and then even still most unless you're up early early morning you don't even need a coat you just wear a jacket that's down here in the valley though um i'm here this week come rain or shine or no stitching <laughs> Oh, there's a little hummingbird coming up to my window. So my hummingbird's like saying hello. It's distracting me. <laughs> um, anyway, I um, did not get a lot of stitching in this week. So I'm thinking going forward, uh, depending if it's a low stitching week, I might have my videos show up on Mondays um, so I can have Sunday to stitch and have more progress to show you guys. So just know if you don't see a post from me on a Sunday, it will be on a Monday. I'll try to stick to the Sunday schedule, but I just wanted to give you a heads up because if I could do this video tomorrow instead, I would have a lot more stitching done today and have stuff to show you. So it's a, it's a possibility going forward. Um, a little bit about this week. Uh, my husband, uh, because it's so hot here, you have to put in um, two different types of grass um, when you live in the Phoenix Valley. Um, you have to put in a summer lawn, Bermuda, and then when as it starts to cool off, you have to scalp the lawn down real low and throw out seed for winter grass and put fertilizer on it. And so he just did that yesterday. Um, I'm hoping to have my backyard green and nice again for Thanksgiving. Um, I'm gonna host Thanksgiving at my house this year for my family, whoever can attend. And um, so he did that yesterday. And so we have lots of birds in the backyard trying to eat up all of our seed we put down. <laughs> and it's like, you went around there and just like shoo them off or put a scarecrow out in the yard or something. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so he did that, and um, busy work week, and um, uh, what else? If you didn't see on social media, I posted a video of my grandson. He, when I babysat him um, this past week, it was so fun. He's so cute. He's three years old, and so they do the funnest stuff. Um, I had met my daughter to pick up my grandkids from her in town so they drove to they had an appointment they drove to their appointment i met them at their appointment and took the kids from them and they were already asleep because you know the car ride put them to sleep so i put them in my car um and um my granddaughter is about 11 months old and um we just, she was asleep also so we transferred her car seat into my car and then i have a car seat for my grandson so we don't have to move his car seat i just we just take him from his car seat, put him into my car, and he stayed asleep. So I brought him home, and once we got home, my granddaughter woke up, and she was playing, having a grand old time the whole time, and my grandson slept the whole time, and then his parents came to pick him up, and um, I said, you know, he knew he was coming to Grandma's house today. If he wakes up and he's home, he's going to be mad. So I said, take Irie home. And I'll bring Quay later so he can wake up and play and hang out with us a little bit. And so he did. He woke up and we played with him and stuff. And it was like about 8 o'clock, 8.30. And I was getting tired. And I had to work in the morning. And I told him, I said, Quay, do you want to go home and, and see Mommy and Daddy now? And he's all, um, no thanks. And he says, thanks. But with a B, Banks. No Banks. <laughs> I died. It was so cute. So then I would tickle him a little bit. I'm like, what? What are you talking about? And then I said, do you want to go home and see sister? Mm, no Banks. And he would smile real big. And then 
Uh, I tickled him some more, and then um, I said, Clay, you go home with a night night? No, thanks. And we I played that game for like 20 minutes. And by the time I took a video of it, of course, it was near the end of it. So his, his the laughing was less, but he was busting up. He thought it was hilarious that I thought it was hilarious that he was saying he didn't want to go home. And I'm like, no, you don't have to go home. Live with grandma. <laughs> so I told my daughter, I'm like, I can see why grandparents try to keep one of their grandkids. They're so much fun. And anyway, so I posted a little video clip on my Instagram and my Facebook. Um, if you want to check it out. Um, so that was like the highlight of my week. And um, what else? Um, some of the questions um, from last week I'll answer as I go through my projects. And I, I did want to tell you about, um, I thought uh, one of you had a great comment about um, that you were, in, you were interested in knowing a couple of people I watch on PlusTube. So I thought I would share a couple of channels I watch every video because I have a long subscription list. <laughs> so I thought I would just do a shout out to a couple of channels every week and I'm sure most of you watch them already. Um, there are a lot of the main ones that you know everybody watches. Um, so if you have somebody new and fun you want to recommend to me in your comments below I would love to hear a uh, shout out for them. Okay, so um, of course I watched Stash Sisters, Carolyn, she's my one of my co-workers. I watched her before I worked at the attic. Um, I love her video. She doesn't post as often as she would like to, but when she does, it's really fun. So I watch her, and of course I watched The Attic. I watched um, Two Charts with, star with Their Starts, and that's it right? Two Charts with Their Starts? <laughs> Tarts, Starts, Charts, they, I don't know what I said. Anyway, I watch them and they, they of course, are so super fun. So check them out. And then um, I also watch um, Mischievous Stitchers. I can't say that. And um, someone new I uh, just subscribed to and um, starting to watch her videos. I haven't gotten very far yet. Um, but is her uh, channel name is called Almond M&M's. So capital M, lowercase n. M S almond M and M's <laughs> and um, I can't wait to watch her videos and see what kind of things she's stitching on so those are a couple of the videos I watch and I'll just share some every week and if you have anybody you like to watch share their names in the comments below that'll be great okay um, so to well, let's move into my whips and then we'll throw in other stories as we go along. Um, this week, I did not get any time to stitch that much. I was super tired. I don't know if it's a change of season or what it is, but I thought I was going to do a little re recap of where I'm at. Um, as I mentioned before, I really like using um, this cross-stitch journal um, from the Fat Quarter Shop. It's, it holds 50 projects. And um, it's not dated, so you can just use it for as long as you need to. Um, and uh, I like it because it's small, too. and has a place for all your information, like pattern name, design there, start and end date, stitched on, counts, um, floss, notes. It's really, it's really kind of handy. So, um, on Halloween Revelry, now I've had some questions about this pattern. Um, this pattern is out of print. It's from um, Just Cross Stitch Magazine. It was a, a pattern gifted to me by Nisi, uh, Nisi Lin. And so um, I, you can't buy it, unfortunately. Um, it's an older Cross Stitch Magazine. I want to say uh, 2006 or seven. Um, and so when I finish with this, this pattern, my sister wants to stitch it. And then after she stitches it, um, when she gives it back to me, then I'll have it as a drawing later on down the line. So just, just a heads up on that. Um, this is stitched, I'm stitching mine on 28 count even weave. Um, so like a light blue color. And I didn't stitch on it this week, but there's my progress so far. And I'm having a lot of fun with this stitch. 
um, really fun. I'm choosing, I chose my own colors. So, um, that's information on that. I finished my stitch for Christmas and I can't show you the cross stitch. It's so cute. I want to show you so badly, but it's a gift for Christmas and I'm going to not give the surprise away. But I finished stitching that this week. So um, I can start something new now and um, when I'll take pictures and then after I give the gift, I'll show pictures on here later, um, beginning of the year. And I'll also use that pattern as a giveaway next year. So I did that this week. And then, um, the next thing I have to show you that I worked on was my, um, my snow village. I was able to work on that. I was in the mood to stitch on it this week and since since I was in the mood to work on it this week, I just really dived into that and I it took all my stitching time and I actually finished a uh, snowball stand by Snow Village series by Country Cottage Needle worked and um, I finished this bottom corner snowball stand. Right down here. It turned out really adorable. I have two more left and then I'll be finished. My husband had mentioned, he said, um, he, he, he said, I wish you would put our names, um, and our grandkids names on some of your cross stitch. And I told him I am going to do that. I have plans. So I was actually going to put my grandkids names on this because there's four people here. And I thought it could be Papa, Grandma, Quaid and Irie. So I might put their initials. I might work Quaid and Irie on here somewhere, um, but I definitely am going to incorporate uh, family names into my cross stitching, um, even ancestral names. I think that's really neat when people do that. So that's my progress for this week. This is my 30th finish for this year. 3-0 people, 3-0. I'm super excited um, for that. Every time, and I consider if it's a chart and you finish that chart, it's a finish. Like this has, this is going to have um, 11, 11 charts. To, it took, it's going to take 11 charts to finish this. So each chart is its own finish. So that's my number 30 finish for this year. I'm super happy about that. Um, that Snow Village is stitched on Country French Rain Ada 16 count. With the call for floss that um, snowball stand took 11 hours to finish okay and then um, coming to America I haven't stitched on that anymore um, a few of you gave, gave me some good suggestions one said maybe change your fabric to a lower count so I'll enjoy it want to stitch it which is a great idea I thought about it a couple times um, here's my progress so far Um, someone else said get better magnification or higher readers, um, higher um, magnification on my readers, which is what I think I'm going to do next. I think I'm going to increase magnification on my readers or use my portable odd light with magnification um, and see if that doesn't make it more enjoyable uh, before I change fabric. Uh, this is on um, X Jude Design 40 Count Linen and um, using the call for floss. So we'll see. I'm just taking a break from it right for right now. Um, and then I haven't done any more work with my um, We Are The Sampler Makers. Uh, nothing new on this. And that is stitched on. 36 count week smoka. Someone asked if I'm using two, um, if I use two threads or one on 
36 count and I'm only using one thread on this 36 count. All right, and then last but not least, I have um, my Lizzie Kate. Halloween rules, and I have not done any more stitching on this. I am going to stitch this all as one piece, one pattern, and um, it's on a 27 count Linda fabric that I writ dyed with two different colors of writ dye. And that's, I think, super adorable. The colors. I chose my own colors. I'm using um, Silky 12 weight Cotton Petite. And I love this spool pulling off one strand. And I like the um, coverage of that. So I think it's turning out really, really cute. All right, I think that's all my widths. So I had one finish, I had two finishes. I had my um, finish on my snow village and I had my Christmas finish so I'm happy about those um, I am excited I want to start some um, Christmas ornaments stitching um, or maybe a fall stitch so we'll see we'll see what I do what I what I start um, let's go to haul uh, in my haul for this week um, at the attic, we got in some seraphim, seraphim, I think I'm saying that right, seraphim fabrics, and I bought three or four different pieces of some different colors. This is called Stone Washed. It's kind of like a light blue with brown in it, like a light brown color in it. It's really pretty. I think it turned out it's really cute uh, fabric. I don't have any plans for it yet. Um, and this is a uh, called Stone Washed and it's 36 count. And then I bought a piece of um, Dusty Road Seraphim 36 count. And this one has just got some really pretty modeling on it. I like the colors. Bought a big piece of that because I think it's pretty basic. I could stitch anything on it. So um, nothing set to stitch on it right this minute. But it probably won't be long before I'm using it. And then I also got a piece of Dusty Road, 36 count. It's a little lighter. Um, I got two pieces of Dusty Road. I bought two pieces of it because one was a lot darker and one was lighter, even though it's the same name. And that happens with linen, as you know. So I think this piece is really pretty light, a lighter version. Because it's so basic, I got a I got a um, thirty five by twenty seven piece inch piece of it, so I could cut it up for multiple projects. And then I also bought from the attic. They have these little clipboards. Um, it was fourteen dollars, and it has. Um, I thought it'd be cute to clip cross stitch to it. It also has a little wood dowel that goes in the back if you want to stand it up. And I thought this is a perfect size for a little small finish someday. And I could paint it whatever color um, when I figure out what um, color I want it to be I could, and what I'm going to hang from it. I can um, change it out. I also, I also thought it'd be cute to change it out for the season with a small, you know, because you could clip it in here and just change it. So. I bought this as a future finishing piece. I also got one more piece of fab bought one more piece of fabric from um, the attic, Dead Sea Scroll by Seraphim, 36 count. 
This is a little bit more um, mottled with yellows and greens and lighter tan color. And I have plans for this piece. This piece I am going to use to stitch my uh, Dracula's Confession by Lindy Stitches. I think it will look so amazing on this fabric. Um, so I haven't decided if I'm going to do vertical or horizontal yet. One day I want to do the one direction and one day I want to do the other direction. Thanks, Lindy. Thank you for allowing me to have all this time to ponder back and forth. Instead of just doing one, no, she added to it two cute ways. I like this way for one, one reason and I like this way for another and oh, I can't decide. Anyway, so this Dead Sea Scroll by Seraphim, it's the 36 count is what I'm going to use to stitch my Lindy Stitches Dracula's Confession. I think it will be super cute. Okay, I'm hoping to start that probably um, in the next week or so. I probably won't finish it this year, but I want to get it started at least. Um, I did some PDF downloads. Um... Some of them are not cross-stitch related. I was watching, um, cross, was it cross-hatch, cross-hatch quilts? Or, um, no, I think it was somebody else. Anyway, um, I bought from Chestnut Junction on Etsy these cute little a pattern to do these pumpkins. I thought those were really fun. Also, um, Lindy Stitches, she was showing, uh, Stephanie, I think her name's Stephanie, Lindy Stitches, she showed these dolls she made, this is a really bad picture, but, um, a little pumpkin doll she made on her channel, it was so cute. So I got a pattern for that. I also, while I was looking for that pattern, I saw this one with, um, Raggedy Ann dressed up for Halloween. <laughs> I thought that was a really cute doll. And then someone else showed this witch, um, Flying Witch, on their channel. And I, I think it was Cynthia Brew. I'll look up her name and put it on the screen. Um, she was showing this witch she made. Oh, it was so cute. I had to go get that. And then a few... Um, Downloads from Stitching with the Housewives is um, this little cat in the cup, which please, I think I want to do even just the little cat as a small round ornament and not do the whole cup thing. I might do that. Same with this one for a gobble. I, said, I think the turkey is really cute. I might just do the turkey as a small round ornament for my tree by the front door. And then... Gingham greetings. I might have done that, gotten that last week. And then I got Mr. Claus. I want the same thing. I don't want to do the cup, but I might just do him um, and the reindeer uh, as a small little stocking. Stocking. Small little ornament. And then gingerbread cottage. It's really cute. Uh, the Scarecrow. Some of these I think I might have showed you last week. But I want to do the Scarecrow without the cup. Just as an ornament. That's kind of my thoughts on those. And um, I was watching Hands Across the Sea samplers video. And Nicoletta, she showed, um, I did a download of hers. These Tis a Season these four ladies I think are so adorable and I want to do those on um, as ornaments for my tree um, take it out maybe it'll be less glary if you haven't seen those yet from hands across the sea samplers check them out they're really I think they're really cute I like that they're finally they're doing some non sampler um, patterns. Okay. Um, so for this week, we have a winner for, our, I, I, um, had bought by mistake 
to this um, cross stitch just cross stitch holiday issue 2019 um, I was loading in my phone some of the things I own and I had two of these so uh, last week um, you had to mention in your comment the word season and be a subscriber and like the video I did have to choose uh, twice because the first person wasn't a subscriber and you know um, you need to go on your account and make sure in your settings you're not set to private if you're set to private it won't allow me to see that you're a subscriber so please do that I hate to have to choose um, somebody else so um, the winner for this um, magazine is so I'll put her name on the screen Sandra McDonald. Sandra McDonald, you're the winner. Congratulations. Please contact me to, at my email address and give me your name and address there or message me on Instagram and I will get this out in the mail to you. This week I wanted to have another giveaway. Um, I wanted to do a share, pass along. Um, I had stitched the Harvest Chalk Bowl by Hands On Design and this, I stitched this chart and the little small already. And since we're going in, we're into this type of season right now, I thought it'd be fun to share this with all of you. Um, and um, so if you're interested in this share, um, in your comments below, be a subscriber, like the video, and mention the word harvest in your comment. And I will use a random comment picker next week to select one of you for this giveaway. Um, last night, we I went over to my friend's house and she, we watched Hocus Pocus with a few girlfriends. And um, one of them had not seen it. And it's, I was trying to tell her, like, it's not really about the movie or the plot. It's just about the ladies and their acting and their costumes and the funny things they say. I don't know. I can't explain it. And maybe it's something just watching it since my daughter was little that um, makes me like it so much. <laughs> but we so we had a hocus pocus party and um, and we went over there. We just did like a potluck and um, my one friend did sushi. Another friend made a eggplant lasagna. And the friend did um, some yummy desserts and um, just lots of good food. So um, I had saw this for sale by Leela May Designs. It's a Hocus Pocus um, necklace and it has a little, it's just a bunch of Hocus Pocus saying on it. And then it has a little witch riding a broom charm and a black button. So I had to, of course, buy that to wear um, to the party last night. So I have that and that's all twisted because I took it off. Anyway, it's super cute necklace I got and I'm going to wear this for years to come. And then um, our friend Shelly, she went and got us a, I said on the text to them, I'm like kind of last minute. I said, wear a witch hat, wear a witch hat. Cause I bought this really cool black witch hat. It looks kind of like Harry Potter type of witch hat. And of course, can I find it? No. After I told him, wear a witch hat. So my friend Shelly, she went to the store. She bought us all these little witch hats to wear. And so we all had a little witch hat to wear at the party. And we took a pictures and I'll put a, po a picture of it um, on here for you to see and then um our, my friend my friends are so sweet every holiday and get together there's always like little surprises and treats we buy for each other and sometimes you might buy something for everybody and then the next time you might not but somebody else might so you're always getting like little presents throughout the year and it's so fun so uh, my one friend kim she bought us all um a bed bath and beyond soap and this is called ghoul friend isn't that cute love it foaming hand wash and then um, my other friend joe she gave us all 
a goodie bag full of treats. Look at this bag. And she she spoiled this rotten, of course. And she got this cute little pumpkin container and um, with a little candle inside that you could turn on and put in. And that's so cute. And then she gave us a bag full of chocolate, of course. And um, some soothing facial toner. And uh, I worked with her for years in the airline industry. We started out, um, we used to fly together as flight tenants. So she gave us this room and we most of us worked at the worked at the airlines together um remove before flight key tag in green and then um this is like one of those traveling uh straws with a little brush cleaner in it so you clean it out reusable straw and a little pack of five free frosties from uh, Wendy's <laughs> coupons and um, I know it's a lot right <laughs> and then she knows I love Pioneer Woman so she got me all these pretty little dishes um, there's a light blue one the seafoam green color I love so much um, this milk glass white color and this blue color love these so much so adorable thank you so much joe uh, you spoil us rotten um and they just are amazing bunch of women and i really value their friendship and and not just because of the gifts but just because of their um kindness and their uh friendship just means so much so i think that's all of my stuff for this week thanks again for joining me and um, I hope that you are doing well and are happy and that you're getting a lot of stitching time in and I'll talk to you next time. See you soon. Bye-bye.